Attention! McCarthy Math Academy proudly presents the Math FSA Boot Camp Series. Hello everyone, I'm Miss McCarthy and I am so excited that you are here. are more than a test score. We don't want you stressing out about this test. We just want you to activate your greatness within. And you might be saying, But Miss McCarthy, listen, I know that math is your jam, but math and I, yeah, we're not really the best of friends. You may have struggled in the past, and you know what? Good. Struggle is necessary because struggle makes us stronger. If we go over something in these videos that you're like, hmm, that skill didn't quite click yet, I'm gonna send you to more videos to help you practice. Your teachers and I, we can expose you to all kinds of tools and strategies, but you have to choose to use them. You have to choose to own them. Imagine opening up that test and feeling so excited to throw down your best. This can be your reality. So now is the time that you need to activate the person you were born to be and let's do this. Are you ready to throw 100% focus, hustle, and heart into this right now? That's what I'm talking about, yes! Okay, let's go ahead and jump on into today's episode of the Math FSA Bootcamp Series. And <laughs> I almost forgot to say, uh, let me teach ya. What is going on, fifth grade? Welcome to the Math FSA Bootcamp Series. This is video number 19. I'm hoping that you have the worksheet that you need for this one, worksheet number 19. If you don't, make sure that you check out the link below or somewhere around this video. That link will take you to my website where you can download the worksheet that you need for video number 19, along with the other episodes in this series. Woo! Okay, so at this time, go ahead and pause the video. I want you to throw down your very best as if these two questions were on the test. That was a really good rhyme. And I wasn't even trying. Okay. And then come on back to check your work. I'll see you in a minute. I might be still rapping over here. All right, fifth grade, welcome back. So if you hear any raindrops falling in the background, that is because it's raining. I know that you were curious and yes, it's raining. All right. Before we even get started with number one, you know that I like to make sure that we identify that question type first. So let's take a little sneak peek a -roo. I see A, B, C, D, E, and that means that this is what kind of question? A, multi-select, meaning that there should be more than one answer choice. We don't know how many are correct, but we will make sure that we go around and check. All right. Ooh, I'm seeing some cubes. That must mean that we're working with volume. I love me some volume. Did you know that volume is the amount of space an object takes up? That's right. Find the length times width or base and multiply the height. No gaps or overlaps allow when you're counting up cubes. That's true. L times W times H equals volume. Huh. We break that down in McCarthy Math 155. I just wanted to give you a little sneak peek. Full of the rhymes today, full of the rhymes. So this says, select all. That means that we are going to try all, look at all, solve all, pay attention to all of the following solid objects where the volume can be found only by counting the number of cubes. So basically this question is asking us which one looks like the cubes are even, they don't overlap, they are all the same size. Let's take a look at A. A. It looks like all of the cubes are the same size. We could find the volume there. We could say that the length is three units, the width is two units, and the height is four units. They're all nice and neat and even. And then we get to B. And check this out. Look, this one down here is too skinny. This right up here, these are just, they are not even. Not equal cubes, we can eliminate B. We're looking at C, these look nice and even, right? Yeah, so let's mark C. Okay, taking a look at D, let me take a quick little look see. All right, yeah, so I'm looking here and these are all over the place. Look, we got like medium, big, small, medium. Like these two are the same size, but these two, no way. So no, they are not equal as well there. 
not equal. And then here, this is looking like a like a Rubik's cube or something over here. It looks like we got like two different volumes together with this weird thing on. Yeah, no, not equal. Um, I'm really hoping that you see one of these kind of questions on the FSA test. You should because it's part of the standard. Really, you just got to take a close look at the cubes and make sure that they're all compacted equally and not looking weird and unequal. Okay? So the correct, oh, did I mark them both? Yeah. The correct answers for this one are A and C. Let's go ahead and take a look at number two. Number two. Okay. Question type. I see A, B, C, D. So this could be a multiple choice question, but it's inside of a box and it looks like I'm filling in the blank here. So this is actually an editing task which is not a type of question that you will find in my How to Pass the Math FSA series. This type of question right here is the reason why I wanted to make the Math FSA Bootcamp was to get you guys some practice with editing tasks and gridded responses and stuff like that. All right, now that we know what kind of question it is, let's go ahead and read it. It says that Alvin is shopping for boxes to hold his belongings boxes. Are we talking about volume? It says complete the statements below to determine which measurement so just to determine which measurement he should use to determine the amount the box will hold. So if you're thinking about what a box that you can put stuff into will hold, we need to be thinking about what type of measurement that is. So in order to have enough space for his belongings, Alvin must consider the area, the length times the width of the box, length times width, just the length, the perimeter, which means that we add up all the sides. Perimeter is when we add up all the sides. Or the volume of the box, which is the length times the width times the height. We can knock out that we don't need to just know about the length. The length of the box is not going to tell us anything. It could be a really long thing, but if it's really skinny, he might not be able to fit his things into it. Okay, so he needs something to hold his belongings. So if we were looking at just the area, which would be the length times the width, we don't know how high the box is and therefore we don't know how if his stuff will fit into that box. So we can eliminate this one. Perimeter of the box. If we add up all the sides of the box, I mean I guess that would tell us a little bit, but that's finding the perimeter just the outside. He wants to put his stuff inside the box so we can eliminate C. So the correct answer is actually he must consider the volume, the length times the width times the height of the box. And notice here it says enough space. In the rap that I was singing earlier, I said, volume is the amount of space an object takes up. So when he's considering a box to put his belongings in, he wants to consider the volume. Don't forget to mark it. Oh, I did all that thinking and marking up my text, but if I don't bubble it in, it will be wrong. The correct answer is D. Okay, let me point you in the direction of some more volume videos. All right, fifth grade. Now this is not the only volume video that we'll do in the Math FSA Bootcamp series, but I do want you to practice unit 10 for McCarthy Math 155 if you know that you need more help. So look below or somewhere around this video to get access to McCarthy Math 155. You totally get seven days for free to try out the entire thing. That's third grade, fourth grade, and fifth grade. You'll have access to all the videos, all the worksheets for seven days. After that, if you want to become a member, awesome, because the 155 stands for 155 videos. Schools and districts and teachers are using this as their math intervention to help fill in the learning gaps for students that they know they can do it. They just need to be given the tool to help them. So as a teacher, if you know that you have had to move on to a new unit, when you know that some, that a few students in your class, they could totally get this skill, but you have to move on. McCarthy Math 155 is here to help you out. While you move on, you can have them watch the video and learn from the video to master those skills that they just need a little bit more time with because every student can learn. The next link that I would like you to pay attention to is the one to the How to Pass the Math FSA series. This was a series that I created several years ago 
back when the fifth grade FSA test was a computer-based test. It's not anymore. It's a paper-based test, like what you're seeing with the Math FSA Bootcamp. But still, they provide excellent practice problems. So go ahead, take a look at those problems. If you need some more practice, totally there for you. I'd love for you to follow me on my social media platforms. I'm on Instagram and Facebook at McCarthy Math Academy. I'm also here on YouTube at McCarthy Math Academy. And if you're here, go ahead and subscribe. That way you're the first to know when I drop a new video. And actually, if you are watching from YouTube, can you go ahead and take a quick millisecond and smash that like button? Not just for me, not just to make me feel good, but to support the mission that I'm on. You see, if you're watching this video, I'm hoping that it helped you to learn something. And there are so many kids out there, so many students that I would love to be able to reach and teach and help them build their confidence with math. So by smashing that like button, you are actually transforming the lives of other students out there too. And that is what I'm talking about when being a world changer. So thank you for smashing that like button. And finally, before we go, I just want you to know that you were created for a purpose. That's right. You are the generation that we have been waiting for. So find your light and shine it bright. Watch out world because we have, you see these fifth graders here, we have a whole new generation of world changers who are ready to step it up and make this world a better place. When you have the choice, choose kindness and you always have that choice. And for most of you, being a fifth grader means that you're actually like the leader of the school. All the other students are looking up to you. So choose kindness. And I cannot wait to see you all on the next episode.